let's see how this works. Hopefully it works well. Um, I have no idea, to be honest with you guys. If anybody even watches this. Uh, we're just going to try doing a stream from my phone. Uh, should be kind of fun. Hopefully. Should uh, should be alright. I hope. Just going to do the... Uh, I got my little... Um, kind of like a gooseneck uh, phone holder out. Using my phone for this. So, we got my halo light behind us. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. This is my first time doing a YouTube stream. So, at least from my phone. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, got some notifications popping up because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Just going to do a fun little thing here. And uh, hope for the best. I always do the rough, like, off of stream kind of thing. Just because I, uh, I throw a lot of stuff. Something I gotta do though, I gotta pull up my reference image again. Because I'm a dingus. It's a hot summer evening. So hopefully you guys can't hear the fan. Off in the distance, but if you can, oh well. That's all I gotta say to that. Oh well, because it's hot. I don't feel like sweating my butt off. I wonder if I can just set this up a little bit higher. So it's, it's weird because it's like right in front of my face. And I'm not used to that at all. So, it's definitely something I'm trying to work around. I also have my headset plugged in. I don't know if it's actually working. Like, I'm doing stream, I'm using Streamlabs from my phone, which is crazy enough. I didn't know if that was, that was even an option. But, uh, it is apparently. So we're uh, we're trying it out. It's just gonna be a short little test stream. I just have this planned out. I got I got some drawings for my kid that I gotta work on too. But I also gotta add my podcast and take out the garbage and all that fun adult business. I've really fallen in love with these pens. I found them at Staples. They kind of got like the little painter tip to it, so. So the table's not like super sturdy. It's, to be honest with you guys, I'm I'm cheap. Uh, it's just a pop-up card table from Walmart. Cause you know, being a parent and having a two-bedroom apartment, your your home office goes to your kid. So they got a bedroom. One day I'll have a nice office set up and I'll buy a fancy desk and all this fun stuff. But right now it's it's not needed. I'm trying to be kind of. Kind of a little bit of a minimalist, I guess. There's a lot of stuff I want, but I'm I'm not buying it. But you know, if you guys enjoy this, if this works out well, maybe we'll do more of these. Maybe I'll just get like a bunch of sketches done up ahead of time. And uh, we'll go from there. And I feel like, like my sketch process would be a little bit hard with this setup. Just because like moving the desk. And if I'm erasing stuff, it's going to move it a lot. So I don't really, I want to try and keep it as still as possible. So. See how it goes. 
so I can start doing stuff, more stuff on YouTube and like Twitch and maybe maybe do some kick streams. You know, that's that's a pop in place right now is kick apparently. You know, I'm just trying to focus more on what I want to do and this whole career path and wherever it may lead. You know, YouTube was, it came on pretty hot, but it seems to be cooling down. So I got to figure out uh, how to get back into the algorithm's uh, good graces and get my, my crap out there more. So hopefully some live streams will help. You know, you guys can hear my voice aside from the podcast. You know, Rotten Views Podcast every Saturday. Go subscribe, you know, Instagram. Well, why did I say Instagram? Uh, Spotify, uh, CastBox, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio or FM, whatever it's called. You know, there's a bunch of other sites that you can probably find it on that I'm blanking on right now. Just because I'm not that great at promoting myself. That's the whole, my, like, that's my biggest issue is, like, I am not someone to push my own product. I really am not. I'm assuming this will just save as a VOD and I can go back through and edit it if I want to. Try to take out my, my lovely voice and, uh, Make it into a, a short. You know, get that uh, that TikTok content, and that YouTube short content going there. Because you know that seems to be where everything's moving. It's these you now short videos, which is what it is. Maybe maybe having my voice in it will help out. Let me know down in the comments, though, like, are you guys looking forward to, uh, Seth's Ninja Turtle movie? That's the whole reason why I'm doing this piece, is because, uh, I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan, so I'm like, ah, screw it. I feel like drawing a portrait on a post-it note, so let's just do Seth, because I keep seeing a bunch of stuff about the movie popping up, so. I am excited to see it. I am a little curious on the art style. The art style definitely looks a little different than what I'm used to but that's fine I'm not going to judge it by that I'm going to go into it with open eyes and I'm excited for all the characters that are, are announced so far and hopefully there'll be other characters in there that uh, aren't announced can't remember is, I think he stuck is, a stuck is announced to be a, a gnome like manta ray or Billy the Ray or whatever his name is, is in there. I know I'm, I'm a Ninja Turtle fan, but I'm blanking on these characters that haven't been really used in anything, to be honest with you. I'm old. I'm an old, old man. I forget things. I'm not a young whippersnipper. I literally as I'm drawing, I just literally add random lines that I feel like could work. Sometimes I don't, but that's fine. It's not like it's a tattoo, it's not permanent, so I'm not too worried about little extra hairs right there yeah that's a quick Seth Rogen for you there folks we whop in almost 10 minutes here you know it's nothing amazing nothing super long but if this works we'll definitely do more you know don't mind my background so there's just a table that me and Abby do crafts on and I get paint all over it and I don't care so I start sticker bombing it you know we are a daily drinker of the G Fuel, and we, we love Pokemon. You know, you can't really see it that well. I can't really move the camera that well either in this uh, this holder, so it is what it is. 
I guess I can zoom out more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Pokemon. See, you can't you can't go wrong with Pokemon. So, uh, anyways, zoom back in on the the main attraction here. What you guys all showed up for the little Seth Rogen there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this, maybe we'll do some more of it. I would love to do more of it, and hopefully uh, the audio sounds good. Uh, I hope. I don't know. This is all just a test. My first test on using um, Streamlabs on my phone. And yeah. I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace.